Hello! Welcome back to Module 8 of Setting Up a Journal with OJS 3.0. This is Unit 5 of Website Settings – Plugins. OJS 3.0 supports a huge number of plugins to help customize your journal's features. In this unit, I'll demonstrate how to activate desired plugins and tell you a little bit about some of the most commonly used plugins. To access your website plugin gallery, go to your dashboard through the link in the top right corner of your homepage. From the left-hand navigation, hover over Settings and select Website. Plugins is the fifth tab along the top of the Website Settings section. The Plugins tab is split into Installed Plugin and the Plugin Gallery. Installed Plugins are all plugins that are embedded in the default OJS installation and will also contain any further plugins you decide to add. Let's begin by exploring this page. The installed plugins are sorted into categories to help make it easier to find what you're looking for. The table displays the name of the plugin, a brief description, and a checkbox indicating whether or not the plugin is currently enabled. Some plugins are essential to the running of OJS, and you'll see that those ones are enabled and grayed out, so you're unable to accidentally disable them. Other plugins you'll be able to enable or disable as suits you. The Block Plugins section, for example, mirrors what we set as our website sidebar back in Unit 1 of this module, Website Appearances. This is the back-end way of enabling or disabling those same content blocks. Further down the page, we'll find other common plugins that have been enabled for your site but that you could disable if you chose to. Some useful plugins you may want to consider enabling include the ORCID Profile plugin and the Google Analytics plugin, both of which are located in the Generic Plugins section of the page. We highly recommend taking your time going through this page and taking advantage of the plugin options to customize and enhance your journal. Should you discover there's a feature you need that isn't already installed in your OJS instance, head over to the second tab on this page, the Plugin Gallery. In this gallery, you can find additional plugins that could be installed on your journal. Again, I encourage you to explore. If there are any plugins that look promising, click through on the hyperlink names and follow the instructions. That concludes our overview of the website plugins. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next module.